Told her I was popular, that I drive a Lambo. Got a lot of money, I'm sexy, no home. Man, she's on the computer ignoring me while I'm trying to spit this game. This girl is just walking away while I'm trying to tell her I'm the star cornerback on the football team, London Bridges. But she ain't buying it. And neither is this girl right here. She just keep on walking. So I think I know what's wrong. I need to go to the clothing store. So I hit up big brother Neil Bridges and told him it's very important, even though I know he's still settling in the New Orleans. I said I need some money for some clothing and possibly a car. So he was like, whatever, whatever. And he gave me this money. I'm in here picking out some clothes. I'm about to try it on. So I come out fresh with my Hawaiian shirt looking like Russell Westbrook and my shades on and my new jeans. So we're gonna go out here and try to see what these women say now. I find this one and get her number in about five seconds. And here's that girl that didn't want to pay me any attention earlier. Now she's having a blast with London. And I pull up in my new whip, sitting on 24s, nice paint. And all I have to do is show my face and the women and fans know who I am. What's going on everybody? It's the man of the hour, QJB, aka Cleveland. I got this NCAA football 13 Road to Glory for ya. Featuring the Termagator, Swamp Monster, London Bridges. You see I'm taking on number 15 Missouri. I'm number 3 Florida. And I want to just showcase some of this footage against Missouri. So you can see what my main mission on the field is. And that's hard hitting, racking up a whole lot of tackles, and inflicting pain on my opponent. I think I do a pretty good job of that. But as you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. And obviously the bad is my coverage skills. I'm not the best coverage corner. I never said I was. You know, if I get an interception or a swatted ball, that's a bonus obviously when it comes to London. We all know him as a hard hitter. He gives up passes, but he comes up and cleans up the play, as you see he did right there. So we have a 24-7 lead over Missouri. They're trying to get in the end zone right here, and they finally do. So end of the fourth quarter, we're up uh, 10 points, and we got to make a stop here to make sure they don't do anything. Get a user tackle. I had a monster game stat-wise with tackles. And check it out. I want to show you this play, proving my point. I'm not the best coverage guy. But when it's clutch time, crunch time, I make the tackle. So they have one chance right here to get in the end zone, or actually two chances. As you see, he's dropping back to throw it over there, and it's intercepted. See what happens? The Florida Gators take control when it means the most. So I'm going to show you that Florida State game next.
So here we are, number two, Florida. Number 18, Florida State University. And I'm trying to take this opening kickoff to the left side, and I have some room. But they push me out around the 38 or 39 yard line. We go down and score, so it's seven to nothing, and we come up and make a great hit on the wide receiver of Florida State. You see, I pushed him right into Webb, and he made the clean up tackle hard to hit. Type of stuff we do out on Florida. So Florida State, they had a great attack going. Nice mixture of running passes. You see the quarterback takes off and gets a first. Third and two, and they're running over to the right. The running back breaks free and gets a first down. So they had us on edge pretty much the whole game. First and ten, halfback draw. I get off of my block and make sure I stop him before he gets in that end zone. Great tackle by London Bridges. But they do end up getting a field goal, so it's 7-3. to three. And we're in the second quarter here. They're trying to run it again. And he stopped in the backfield. One yard loss. Second and 11. Quarterback dropping back. He's trying to take off. But he's taken down for a three-yard loss. Third and 14 over to the middle. They get nothing. So they're punting it to me. Fourth and eight. You know I want to try to do something with this one. And I'm stopped. And I'm down injured once again. Been getting a lot of injuries on these kicks and punt returns. But. It's all good. It was just a little hip problem. And I'm right back in here taunting the Florida State crowd. Trying to take another punt return. And this time I get it. I see some room over to the right. So I'm going to run that way. But they end up catching me. Still got to work on that speed. But we do score. It's 14-3. to Coming down to the end of the first half. And Florida State's trying to make something happen before halftime. Running this hurry up offense. I told you they had us on our toes, and check him out on this drive. He's throwing it over to my side, and I come up and help with the tackle. So they have about 30 seconds left. Now it's ticking under 30. They got to try to get in this end zone before the half ends. Quarterback's dropping back, trying to run with it. And we come up and stop him, but he gets some nice yardage. First down, 20 seconds to go. Can they get in the end zone before halftime? He's dropping back again, seeing what he has. Someone right over the middle. Second and three. They have to hurry up still. Under 10. And he's dropping back to throw again. Let's see what he does over the middle. And we come up and stop him. So they ended up getting a field goal when it was all said and done. And now here we are in the second half. And I lay a crazy hit on that wide receiver. Was that number 84 again? Yeah, I feel sorry for number 84. He might have a concussion after this game. We were laying the hits on him all game. And you see the Termigator is talking trash to him also. So they got a third and ten over the middle. And I come up and make a nice tackle. Stopping him again. Got a big hit. And coach is praising our defense because we've been doing great. And it's fourth and inches. They're going for it. And he does get it. But I take him down right away. See, that's what I was saying. I'm not the greatest cover guy, but when they have the ball, I'm a sure tackler and a hard hitter. So I make sure they don't go far. First and 10, they're still down, trying to drive down the field, and he's sacked. Get the quarterback in the backfield, and his teammates on the sideline are not happy. So they have a third and 17, and look at him. I come up, ha boom! I come out of nowhere and get that sack. Quarterback don't know what hit him. I started about 15 yards away and run all the way up there and get the quarterback sack. So that's how the Swamp Monster does it. And look, he's showing out. So coming down to the end of the third and he's running again. The quarterback gets the first down. We should have had a QB spy on him all game. Because he was getting a lot of yards running. So it's fourth quarter. They definitely got to get in the end zone. And complete a two-point conversion right here. You see it was offensive holding. But it doesn't matter. I laid a hit on the receiver coming across the middle anyway. He's going to come across the middle. So I'm going to make sure he feels the pain when he does. So this may very well be their last drive. And you see we get the quarterback in the backfield. Actually, they get it back. So it's coming down to the end of the fourth. And he's sacked again. 
We're getting the quarterback again and again. And how about one more time for good measure? <laughs> so the highlights didn't work at the end of this game for some reason, but we're going to walk out of here with a dab out. 21 to 6, beating Florida State. And as always, folks.